This is a picture taken from a computer simulation that can compute with incredible accuracy the performance of the vehicle driver combination as it drives through various scenarios. The program can replicate vehicle characteristics and measure lateral acceleration, acceleration, and deceleration. The program allows us to change the parameters of a scenario and the characteristics of the vehicle. As an example, we can change the type of vehicle, SUV or sedan, and the surface coefficient of friction, and tire pressure. As a basic example, we drove a 4,000 pound police vehicle around a skid pad with a radius of 280 feet and at a speed of 51 miles per hour. These are the results. On the left is a drawing of what is called the friction circle. The friction circle is a graphic but straightforward way of showing the performance of the driver vehicle combination. It works in any vehicle, any scenario, and in any environment. From the friction circle, we see that as the vehicle driver drives around the skid pad, there is a 0.62 g's applied to the vehicle's center of gravity, which means that 62% of the vehicle's weight is pushing on the vehicle's center of gravity. At the bottom left of the picture is four circles. That indicates the vehicle's weight distribution. When the 0.62 g's are applied to a vehicle that weighs 4,000 pounds, the vehicle's weight transfer creates 748 pounds on the front left, 594 pounds on the rear left, 1,477 pounds on the front right, and 1,179 pounds on the rear right. The image is an excellent example of the phrase, drive the equation. If you are a graduate of the Old Scotty School or Vehicle Dynamics Institute, you know the equation and have driven the equation. What is the driver's equation? The driver's equation is defined as lateral acceleration equals velocity squared divided by radius times a constant, in this case it's 15 when you're using miles per hour and feet, or 127 when you're using kilometers per hour and meters. Lateral acceleration is the amount of energy being applied to the center of gravity of the vehicles. At this moment in time during our animation, that number is 0.62 g's. Velocity is the speed of the vehicle in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. And in our animation, that is 51 miles per hour, or you could convert that to 82.11 kilometers per hour. The radius is the vehicle's path, and it is measured in feet or meters. And in our animation, that number is 280 feet or 85.4 meters. In a time frame measured in tenths of seconds, the driver will have to select a combination of velocity and radius, which creates a force pushing on the center of gravity of the vehicle that will move the vehicle away from the incident, but not too much force that would cause the vehicle to lose control. When an emergency driver scenario presents itself to the driver, the driver will, not may, have to balance this equation.